Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Metal's Diecast Batmobile Collection from Jada Toys. That's right, Jada has released this new series in their Metal's lineup that focuses on the awesome rides of Batman. Now, Jada Toys is a well-known company for their die-cast cars, so it's pretty cool seeing all of these great representations from some of the iconic Batman moments being captured in these great die-cast vehicles. And as you can see, each one even comes with their own die-cast Batman that is appropriate for that specific Batmobile. So I've got all four of them here in front of us today, which includes the Dark Knight Batmobile with Batman, the classic TV series Batmobile, of course, with that 60s style Batman. We got the most recent Batman v Superman Batmobile with that Batfleck in there. <laughs> and up at the top, we've got my personal favorite, the 89 Batmobile with Keaton Batman. So pretty cool little collection. You can see they come in these really nice window boxes. But I'm going to go ahead and rip these open so we can take a closer look at the cars within. Alright, so now that we've got them opened up, let's go ahead and kick things off with the 60s style Batmobile. The Adam West Batman and his Batmobile here. Really cool looking set, very iconic looking Batmobile of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with measurements on these. All of these cars are going to measure about the same. So here we go. Let me move Batman out of the way for a second just so we can get a good look at the tape measure. You can see the car measures just about 9 inches in length and it's just under 3 inches in height. The little minifigures that come with each of these also stand just under that 3 inch mark. So kind of gives you an idea of the scale of these. The vehicle itself is very nicely done. I mean, there's a really, really great weight to it here uh, with the whole body being in that kind of die cast metal. So very, very nicely done. You can see great paint deco all the way around. Uh, the lines look nice and clean and bright. You got that reddish orange bat right there on the side. Uh, and there's all these great details kind of working all the way around. You might even notice that Robin is sitting there in the passenger seat, which is pretty cool. The door does open. Robin is attached to the inside of the car. It doesn't appear like he's removable. He's also made of a bit of a softer plastic, you can see, uh, but he is holding onto the bat phone, which is hilarious. Uh, you can kind of look down inside the car. Uh, it is worth noting that even though he's holding the receiver of the bat phone, you can totally still see it on the actual bat phone down there. Uh, but I love all the details on the inside. Look at that. I mean, you even got the little fire extinguisher back there. Of course, the, uh, the little sirens up here on top. Both of the doors do open up. Now, the little minifigures that come with these are not posable uh, by any means. They're actually die-cast metal minis. You can see it's a decent little paint job, though. Very clean looking. Um, not a lot of details on the face, obviously, there. But still, really nice little die-cast metal figure. Actually has a great kind of metallic blue on that cape. I really like that. You can see the cape is a pliable plastic. The rest of the figure is like a solid piece of die-cast metal there. Really, really nice. Now, so, of course, he can't sit in there since he's not articulated. I guess you can have him standing in the car. Yeah, to the Batcave! <laughs> but it is cool nonetheless that you can open the doors up and get a better look at the inside. The wheels are also very nice. I love the kind of shiny hubcaps with the bat emblem on there. Uh, the tires are also a rubber material, so nice solid rubber too. It's got a bit of a, a stiffness to it, but you can definitely tell it's not the plastic that's used on the bottom here. So this is very, very nice. Actually, you can kind of see it rolling around even uh, when I'm holding it in place. Look at that. And you can tell it's a separate piece from the actual tire. So that is really nice. Uh, the bottom is uh, the plastic part, but it is uh, slightly detailed there, but it's basic for the bottom of a car. But overall, very, very nice looking 60s style Batmobile. So let's move right along with a look at the Batmobile from the 89 movie with the cool little Michael Keaton diecast figure with it. Uh, I really love this little diecast figure. And of course, uh, just so you can see, the measurements on this is pretty much exactly what we saw with the other one with the figure standing just under 3 inches. The vehicle itself is a little over 8 inches in length. Uh, that little minifigure is awesome, though. It's a great pose. Actually, a really decent likeness to Michael Keaton uh, in the small scale there. You can see 
Nice paint deco. Love the black that's used. It's nice and deep. Has a little bit of a shine to it because of that die cast metal, but very, very cool. But of course, the star of this set is the Batmobile itself, and it's just an awesome, iconic design. I absolutely love this one, of course, uh, as most people do. You might notice it does have the little rotating guns on the top. How cool is that? I actually already had those flipped out here. Let me kind of fold that back in. So, you know, they fold in, they will hide up very easy there. That way that just looks normal. And if you want to, all you got to do is kind of give a, get a little bit of a push there and you can actually fold those right over. Uh, there we go. Just like that. They're kind of sticking a little bit on mine. So definitely give it just, it, don't be too afraid to give it a little bit of a push. It seems like uh, it just kind of locks up in there. There we go. Got it. Okay. So give it a little bit of pushing. See, there's a little bit of give there and it folds it right up. But there you go. So now you've got the little uh, machine guns there on the top and then you can just fold those down if you want to hide them away. Lots of really great details worked in on here. Uh, just like with the 60s one, you can see there is the little bat emblems right there on the hubcaps. This, of course, does also have the nice rubber tires over the actual wheels there, which is very nice. Love the paint deco here. Kind of got like a gunmetal color on the back. Got the great turbine here on the back. Oh, I still have my little uh, sticker there, the little safety part that keeps the trunk part closed down. But we should be able to open that, it looks like. Just by giving it a little lift there, and you can kind of get a good look at the engine on the inside there. Uh, let's see if I can get a good light. There you go. Some good lighting so you can kind of see the, the uh, actual turbine engine on the back side there, which is very nice. The little brake lights are painted red, and you can open the canopy on the top by sliding it forward with a really great view of the inside of the Batmobile itself. So very, very nice. It's got that great sleek design. I love kind of like that flat black that's used on this uh, with a, just a little bit of color that makes it pop. You know, the window there has a really nice kind of a shine to it. You can see the way the lights are reflecting off of it. It's a very, very nice looking vehicle. And of course, again, just like with the other one, Batmobile is non-articulated, but he does look awesome just standing alongside of it. And you can see it uh, does roll very nice on a flat surface. So if that's something you want it to do, it does work very well. But it also sits still so that way it'll display well as well. So that's going to bring us to the Tumbler from the Dark Knight series. Uh, very cool looking piece. Of course, this one is much more tank-like. Uh, what we saw with the last generation of Batman films does come with a Christian Bale-like Batman there in that same three-inch die-cast metal scale. Uh, you know, the cape is the same as the others. It's a bit flexible, while the rest of them hands is a non-articulated die-cast metal, but still very, very cool-looking little figure there. Uh, the Tumbler itself is super impressive. This is just a nice looking die cast vehicle. Just to bring in the tape measure again, you can see about eight inches in length. This one stands a little bit taller, almost going up to the full three inches in height there. Uh, and just a really nice piece. You can see rolls very well does feature um, all those extra wheels. So of course you got the four wheels in the back here with these huge tires that are nice and treaded. It's a very hard rubber, but it is still a rubber material. It's definitely different than a plastic that's used. And you can see they all roll together, but you can kind of turn them separate as well, but they roll very smooth together. Uh, just a great looking piece. This is all, of course, the nice die cast metal. This one has a lot of weight to it. This one definitely stands out as the heavy one amongst all the others there. Look at that great detail back there, the red painted and everything. And you can open up this canopy. Uh, just got to find a nice little spot to kind of grab onto it. And you can open up the canopy just like that. You can get a look at the inside there. You can see the seats for Batman to sit. Uh, again, reiterating, the figure is not articulated, but still, you got to love all of those little details that are worked in the inside there, uh, just for a really, really great die-cast metal version of the Tumblr. And finally, that brings us to the most recent Batmobile that we saw in Batman v Superman. Uh, this is the, of course, the Ben Affleck version of Batman. So he is wearing that gray outfit, which I still love. Love the gray with the larger bat emblem on the front there. All die cast metal. You can see he does have a bit of a shine to his gray outfit because of the metal there. Uh, but very nice looking little die cast figure included with this. Uh, the Batmobile itself is going to measure in about eight inches in length. Again, this one is a bit taller, standing almost at a full three inches in height. 
height, so it does match up with those others very well. This one is a much more matte finish. It's actually almost more of a gray than the others, but you can see that that newer design, that's almost like a hybrid between the Tumbler and like kind of like that classic style Batmobile or the 89 Batmobile, uh, it's captured very, very nicely here. Uh, again, you got these large tires, these big, wide tires. Uh, you can see these are a bit softer. These are the softest tires out of the bunch. I can actually kind of squish those there, uh, but they're still very nice. Uh, you can see the uh, kind of the details on the bottom there does still roll very well, as you can see. It's got a nice smooth roll, but again, if you position it on your shelf, it's not going to roll away if it's on a flat surface. It looks very, very cool. Uh, you got the little turning cannons on the front, which I really like, and you can open the canopy. And this one's very interesting because it opens up in sections. So let me see. You get a the the driver side and the passenger side open up separately and you can get a good look at the seats on the inside there which is very nice the steering wheel down here there's a shifter down here um, so just really cool how you can open up the canopies on these batmobiles i love that so great design i actually quite like the new batmobile quite a bit and it looks really great in this die cast metal form so there you guys go, there is a look at the new Metals Diecast Batmobile Collection from Jada Toys. These are really cool, and for any Batman fan, these definitely make for a really nice collection of some of the more iconic pieces uh, from Batman's history. And the little uh, included Diecast minifigures are really neat, they're nice, uh, but just looking at these Batmobiles here, uh, it's just awesome to kind of see them all lined up and the differences. You know, you got the classic car with the 60s style, it's got more of that glossy, awesome kind of... Uh, you know classic car look to it while you've got the newer Batmobile that's a lot more of a flat finish you got the big tank like the tumbler and you got that very very cool looking 89 Batmobile which is still my favorite I absolutely love it so really really great selection here I would definitely recommend picking these up they're good and solid nice quality awesome display pieces so I do have to give a very special thanks to the folks at Jada Toys for sending these along so we can get a good look at them outside of the packaging Guys, these are hitting the store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to leave me a comment and please subscribe. That way you never miss out on a toy review. Until next time, my friends.